brothers and sisters in Christ. Today we're on day two of our 21 day water fast. I'm so glad to have y'all joining me on this corporate fast. It's just so amazing to have a great group of body of believers to come together and believe God for breakthrough in our finances. So let's jump in. The first verse we're going to be reading is Proverbs 21 verse 20 and it says a wise man saves for the future. The second verse is Proverbs 13 verse 11 and it says, money little by little grows. These are some power packed verses because first of all, it's super simple, but it's just what's going to be helpful here. It says a wise man saves for the future. Super simple. Start saving. Even if it's a nickel, even if it's a penny, put it in your piggy bank or wherever you store your extra money. And I'm telling you, it's going to add up because the next verse says money little by little grows. So Let's look at this as something that is just going to be bigger than what we ever expected because moving forward, we're going to start doing what the word of God says to do so we can see some financial growth. So we're going to move on and jump into the motivation and advice for the day. I always love to leave y'all with some tips and tools that you can use moving on to the future when you are making your financial decisions. So are you a thrifter? Many of us are, many of us are not, but if you are not a thrifter, this is another way to make your dollar stretch and save money at the same time. As for me personally, I love my local thrift store and I often find amazing items for myself and my children. And it also will teach the children the importance of giving back. And so when we don't have, well, when, rather when we don't need anything around the house, we bag it up, we box it up, and then we go and give back to the thrift store because it has been such a blessing to us, we want to give back and be a blessing to them. Also, it's a great way to teach children the importance of reduce, reuse, and recycle. So that's very, very important for children to learn very early on, so that way they can be of benefit to the earth. So now I know, I know, some of you will shun the idea of thrifting, but remember, products can be disinfected, they can be cleaned, you know, to remove the germs and the debris. Let's face it, when you're trying to stretch your dollar and save, you're more willing to make temporary sacrifices for permanent success. So thrift stores are awesome because they have everything you need for your household, such as clothes, shoes, dinnerware, and even furniture. Think about it. You go and purchase a couch for $700, but if you go to a thrift store, you can purchase that same furniture or similar furniture, same pattern, texture, design for a fraction of the price. And remember, just because it's used doesn't mean you can't clean it and you can't refurbish it. It's a great way to save money and still get a nice quality product that you can refurbish and make it your own to fit your style. So again, don't limit yourself when it comes to saving money and maximizing your savings. So check your local thrift store. And that's going to be that for today. We're going to end it out with a prayer. And I am just believing, y'all, that God is really going to move. We have to have faith, y'all. And I am full of faith for you. If you don't have any faith, I'm going to believe for you. So come into agreement with my faith, okay? <laughs> we are going to move on to prayer and end this out. Dear God, we are grateful for the financial blessings you have bestowed upon us. Please help us to use our resources wisely and to be good stewards of our financial gifts that you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. So remember, y'all, um, if you need an accountability partner, please don't be afraid to reach out to me. This is what I'm here for. I'm here to motivate, encourage, and uplift. So if you really are seeking that financial breakthrough, jump in. I know that God is going to move. He's an amazing God, and he sees that we are intentional. We are ready to see some blessings for the year of 2024 and moving forward. We're tired of poverty. We're tired of lack and we're tired of delay. So let's get going, y'all. God bless you and I'll see you tomorrow for day three.